Hey everyone, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to talking about the world of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. Today's a little different. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the camera. Hello, everybody. Uh, I haven't showed my face in a long time. I used to do a lot of webcam videos, um, which I need to get another webcam and, and buy one. Uh, my other webcam's going out and it just doesn't work as well and it's terrible quality. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a different video tonight as I wanted to share three World of Warcraft stories that truly did happen. And I uh, just kind of want to do a little bit of story time and uh, tell you guys some funny things. Well, some of them are funny and then the other one's really cool and serious. So I'll start with the first one. Uh, when I first started playing World of Warcraft, it was a long time ago, uh, probably back when I was really young. Um, I don't remember the exact age, probably nine or 10 years old. And um, I remember playing in Classic WoW and um, I think the Burning Crusade was out by then. And I remember creating a human. Uh, I don't remember what class it was. It was a warrior or maybe a mage or I don't remember exactly, but I remember creating the character and I walked, I did all the quests in um, Northshire and then I walked out to go to Goldshire. And uh, as I was walking along the trail to go to Goldshire, some guy or NPC or whoever walked up to me and they were like, hey, I'm quitting World of Warcraft. Here you go. And they just traded me like a thousand gold and they left and never came back. <laughs> it was like the most random thing ever. Um, but I remember that happening. And that's kind of like just a random occurrence that happened that you don't see every day. Uh, the second thing is, uh, this is a pretty funny story. And uh, this is really funny for me because I play Alliance. I was messing around in Legion one day and um, I just had gone to Dalaran. And I remember I was flying around. I was kind of bored that night. I don't remember what happened, but I saw that the uh, rare spawn, the uh, underwater swimming mount had um, appeared on the map. It was the, um, I don't remember the exact name. It's the, the mount you, you ride on and it has like tentacles and all that. Um, something from the deep. And uh, actually, let me look it up. I'm trying to remember. It's the, it's the underwater, underwater mount. Uh, it's the auto. There it is. It's the surf jelly mount. But I don't remember exactly what it's called. The fathom dweller. That's what it was. So I had the. I saw the fathom dweller, and it had spawned from uh, Kosumoth the Hungary, hungering. And uh, I saw it on the map, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go try my chances and see if it's still there. You know, because I was thinking these people, people spawn camp these things for years, right? Well, I flew over to the island where the boss was. And uh, as I dropped on the ground, I immediately started attacking the boss. I didn't notice there was like 30 horde sitting around the mount um, waiting to kill it. And I think they were a guild and they were waiting for other people to arrive so they all could roll for the mount or get the mount. I don't know. But I remember getting there, start attacking. They started attacking it. They were just sitting there watching it. Nobody wanted to go in. And uh, after we killed it, I got the mount and I was so excited and I walked away. But I was laughing so hard because I think I had cost their guild a mount that they were waiting for for a long time. <laughs> So I'm sorry, whoever I did that to, but uh, it's kind of funny. Well, don't play on the horde, so be alliance. And uh, I just, I remember that day, and that's actually why I still have the Fathom Dweller today. So I got pretty lucky that day. Uh, the last story I wanted to talk about was me discovering the Caverns of Consumption. Now, if you guys don't remember, there is a familiar cave on the very north top of Kalimdor. If you fly directly north up and it's above Winter Spring, there's a cave on the back side of Winter Spring in like the lower part of the map you can get to and it's called the Caverns of Consumption. Well, I was actually the first person to bring it to light. Um, funny enough, I this is before I started doing a bunch of World of Warcraft videos. It was like very early in YouTube, I'm starting the YouTube channel. And uh, again, one night I was bored, I was flying around Kalimdor and uh, I happened to come across this cave in Winter Spring on the back side of it. And I remember, um, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make a video on this. And like, it looks interesting. There was like a firewall when you walk in the cave and I'm like, oh, this must be part of a quest or something. Well, all of a sudden I woke up 
uh, the next day and the WoW Seeker Guild had got a hold of it on Reddit and the Reddit post just blew up and people were like, what is this cave? We've never seen it before. And everybody was like super into it. And um, it was cool to wake up. And so I actually made it. I have the video still today on me uh, of me talking about the Caverns of Consumption, actually being there and discovering the cave in person. A lot of people thought it was just part of a quest line and you got in that cave and they were like, oh yeah, you're part of the quest line in Winter Spring. You And people were like, no, like this cave was just put in the game just recently. I guess there was a patch they put it in. Nobody noticed. And that's actually where you get the, uh, the um, I don't remember what the pet is called. It's like the, the dragon kin pet. Um, but it's really cool. If you haven't done that yet, I'm actually going to make another video on that because it'd be really fun to do the Caverns of Consumption. I've actually never done it myself. I did discover it. I just never uh, done it myself. So I made a little bit of wow history with that and that was really fun. So that's my three stories. Uh, those are true stories that really happened to me in World of Warcraft. And uh, yeah. Um, anyways, guys. I just want to thank you all for supporting the channel. Everyone's just been awesome, and uh, you guys have been so great. Uh, we were already past, we're already up to 2,700 subscribers, so we're almost at 3,000. It's blowing my mind, and all the love and support you guys have been showing the channel has just been amazing. I'm going to keep making out of bounds videos, but I'm also going to be mixing it up and throwing in some Easter egg videos, throwing in some lore videos, throwing in mix up the channel. Um, I don't want to just do one thing of World of Warcraft. Um, I love getting out of bounds and I love doing those videos, but I need to make sure I mix up the content on the channel so I keep everybody interested and it's always not just the same thing every single video. So anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next video. Take care.